I looked a little bit closer and there's actually three birds in there. They're all huddled up on top of each other, so not just one. Um, I wish that you guys could see it better. It's kind of dark. I got a phone flashlight to try and look a little bit better at the birdies here. Um, that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get the shot, probably. Yeah. I think right there is the, the mom and dad bird. Um, I don't know if you can see them that well, but they're over there. There's other birds too, but I think they're kind of yelling at me to leave the area, so I'm going to listen. That's the mom, and she's flying back and forth feeding the babies, I think. Isn't that what you said, Erica? The, the dad or mom, they're trying to either feed them or get them to fly. Um, I think it's flight lessons going on today. Pancake breakfast. What up, though? It's uh, another weekend, the next weekend, um, uh, May 1st, and we're out here. We're going to do a Walmart run, and I'm just kind of catching up with you guys real quick before I go to the Walmart. Uh, Tara, my wife's friend and my friend, very dear to my heart, is coming over today. First time in over a year since the pandemic began. Also, the birds, the little birdies that I've been showing in the vlogs have flown away. So I'll show you guys that update later. I checked yesterday and the birds are gone. But, um, so I'm picking up Walmart stuff because we're about out of Deer Park waters and some other um, supplies and food things to get us through till we do another big grocery haul. We normally get groceries every five to six weeks. And we still have food. Um, we still have frozen meats and vegetables and things of that nature but we're about out of water and we need to stay hydrated um, or else we will perish and fall to the ground and pass away and you know we want to avoid that so gotta get into this vehicle and um, drive to the Walmart short 20 minute drive away from this location and pick up the early morning Walmart pickup for 9 to 10 a.m. It's almost 10 o'clock a.m. And hopefully if I get there uh, at 10.01, they'll give me the things that are for me and I don't have to go in there and whoop some ass, okay? And I've had to do it before. I said, Walmart employee, Josh, you're a punk, and give me my waters, okay? Like, I'm not gonna beat your ass a third time, you know? Give him a black eye, and um, yeah. So I don't wanna have to go to that extent again. I don't wanna get physical, but I will do it. So, I hope it doesn't come to that, and I will see you guys in the next clip. Here we go. Please leave your message for five four zero three five one seven. Bullshit. Gonna have to beat some ass. Attempt. Oh my god, I can't help you. Hi, this is um. Ross Questenberry. I'm in uh, spot five. Alright. Can you spell your last name for me? Uh, Q U E S 
E N B E R R Y. Can it be under a different name? Uh, yeah, it might be under Erica Questenberry. All right, we'll be out momentarily. All right, thank you. Uh, so as you can see here, the sign clearly reads 540-351-7506. And this is the closest I can get the shot of the phone because if I get it any closer it trips it out and it gets all blurry. But as you can see here, the first phone number I dialed was 351-7606. My bad. So while we're waiting on the Walmart employees to uh, come out here and uh, deliver the supplies. I'll just catch up with you guys. Um, thank you guys for bearing with me for there being no vlog last week. Um, I shot some of the bird footage last week, but I didn't film any more. And I didn't put out a Tune Tuesday last week. It took the week off because that weekend was stressful, personal weekend for me. Um, as you guys are maybe aware, if you watch the vlogs, um, in the one vlog I detailed some issues with my brother, which um, for an update, he is in jail and there's court dates pending. And without getting too um, um, overly explaining of the privacy of that. Um, oh, he's in jail. Oh, the people are here. Back here. Yeah, that should be okay. All right. How's your day going? Pretty good? Pretty good, yes. How about you? Uh, not too bad. Oh no, uh, well it might be actually. My wife picked up the stuff, so maybe somebody she knows is having a birthday. I don't really know. She teaches dance to kids, and so maybe it's like one of her students or something. All right, thank you. Sick ACDC t-shirt. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. She probably doesn't listen to any fucking ACDC, but I just wanted to try uh, talking with the person rather than just awkwardly sit in silence. Sometimes I think that the person might, you know, want to just be left alone to do their job, and, you know, she's, like, picking up a heavy-ass bottle case like a case of deer park waters 
and while you're like doing manual labor, um, <clears throat> I figure you might not want to have a conversation, but I thought it might be more interesting for the video to show some sort of exchange rather than um, just absolute sitting in silence. But I think um, it, you know, it's nice to you know talk to the person, I guess, actually. And as far as the birthday shit, I don't know what what that is about. Um, again, like Erica um, ordered um, the stuff, so I'm not sure what's back there to make her say, "Oh, is someone having a birthday?" Maybe there's some birthday cards uh, or something. As far as I knew, we were just picking up like basic groceries, like water and um, hay for our rabbit. So uh, maybe our rabbit's having a birthday, but that's not till like September. Um, anyway, we got the shit. So we're going to go back home. So I forgot that I had this huge fucking package in the back seat of the car because uh, we may or may not be going to um, Erica's parents' beach condo this next weekend. And if we do, um, it's Erica's mom's birthday and the, p the package is even bigger than what is being seen here visibly I mean like cuz some of the groceries are on top of the gift package but it goes it's a long package it goes all the way back to the ass end of the car so I had this huge long ass big ass package back here with cupcake fucking birthday wrapping paper all over it and obviously that's why she asked oh is it someone's birthday and then like a big fucking dork, idiot, awkward asshole, I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe uh, could be one of my wife's dance students. I'm not sure what she ordered in here. Uh, maybe it's a birthday card or something. But obviously it was this huge as shit fucking birthday package with cherry topped cupcakes. Um, what a dumbass. But anyway, just like with the dialing the wrong phone number um, I'm gonna show you guys my mistake um, because I'm not gonna front and act like uh, it wasn't my bad so my bad again my bust all right here's the here's the the uh, backside view here's the package two cases of bottled water uh, cat litter and general uh, food Almond Breeze. Gotta have the Almond Breeze. So I unloaded all the stuff out of the vehicle and just as a frame of reference, look how obnoxiously long this package is. This is what the Walmart girl sees in the back of my vehicle and she asks, oh, is it somebody's birthday? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Fucking idiot, dude. My life is a joke. Speaking of jokes, I have some cool news to share with you guys. I was going on in the car waiting on the girl to stock the car with Walmart uh, groceries. A stale story about my personal family uh, issues with my brother um, being in jail. But on a positive, the flip side yin and yang of uh, the negatives and the positives of my life. On 420, um, I did stand up comedy for the first time in over a year from the beginning of the lockdown of the pandemic. And it was so sick. It was so sickeningly um, great for me. Um, basically, how it went down was it was 420 and I had reached out to Audrey uh, if you watch the channel there was a girl that I roast battled um, before the pandemic happened um, it was in December of 2019 actually and uh, won the roast battle but um, Audrey since then she hosts open mics and uh, I haven't attended any the whole pandemic but um uh, it's at like a gaming place where you play card games and stuff, like for nerds and stuff. So she's like, you can come down to the venue. And I was like, all right. And I had like, you know, I write jokes as I think of jokes. I'll put them in my phone. So I was like, you know, 
if I do stand up, I'll, I'll read these jokes here, you know, because it, was, it wasn't planned to go do any stand up. I was just meeting Audrey. Um, but when I got there, you know, like I saw all my old comedy friends, Jake Snyder, I saw CeeLo and um, Zach White and TJ Crook and um, the other Zach and Audrey, of course. And she was like, do you want to do a set? And I was like, yeah. And um, so then, yeah, once it was my turn, once the first couple of guys were done with their sets, I did a stand-up set and it was super well received. Um, huge um, support for being back on the scene in over a year. I was pretty well established there for like doing like six months consistently with stand-up comedy to the point to where I was doing it like three or four times a week. Uh, when it first started, I was doing it like every other week because that's all there was really going on. Then um, there was like the Hope Center, which was every Monday. And since the pandemic lockdown, a lot of those venues don't uh, go on anymore. But there is some stand up, and Audrey's one of the mics that does stand up still. So I, I did some jokes, I did some time. People laughed, it was fucking great. Um, I hung out a little bit after the show and caught up with my comedian pals and then I had to go home and uh, cook up some dinner for Erica and myself and I, I got it all done and it was like nice weather, it was fucking perfect. Like I can't really relay how, I was like walking on a cloud for like, you know, days. Still am really high off of that experience. Um, and. It's just great, like, to have not, like, I love doing stand-up, and have done it, I'm going to do it again this coming Tuesday, which is awesome, and, um, I'm just so happy about that, you know, um, the weather, the timing, it wasn't planned to do it, like, I'm just trying to relay, which is impossible, but as best as I can, how... Everything seemed to just align perfectly that day, like it was like meant to happen almost, you know? So like it was so, so, so sick. It was sickeningly so fucking awesome. To see everybody, to do the stand-up comedy again, and get laughs, and um, it was fucking great. So I mean, like there is negatives going on in my life, and there's positives. And I guess that is so with everybody. So whatever is going well in your life, tap into that you know what I'm saying cuz like um, there's there's like some definitely cool shit going on for me as much as there is like fucking stale as shit stuff sorry for cussing so much I hope the video doesn't get demonetized stupid um, rules and shit but I don't think it will affect anything but yeah like I'm just really elated to let you guys know that I guess the next thing I'm gonna show you guys it's the bird stuff. Actually, I'm going to show you these like helicopter seeds on the ground first. So on like uh, the uh, day of the 420, all these types of seed things were all over the ground, had first fallen. So that was another thing that made it seem like some sort of a divine um, meant to be thing. The weather was perfect, and you guys have probably seen these shits before. Like they're like you throw them, and it's like they helicopter to the ground. See if we can get a better shot of that. You get the point, right? So yeah, man, it was fucking dope. Um, what more can be said about that? I guess I'll show you the birdies. So the birds, as you can hopefully see, are gone. They've flown, flown the coop. They've grown and um, left the nest behind and left behind a toilet hey what up though it's Sunday and it's <clears throat> the vlog still yesterday we hung out with <clears throat> excuse my voice Tara and it was a lot of fun catching up with um, her right now we're, I'm grilling getting the grill ready I fucked up because I did the grill way too early we still gotta cook the rice uh, I got a we gotta get the meat on the skewer, so I fucked up by prematurely lighting the grill too soon, but uh, we're gonna make it work. We're hanging out on Sunday, 
Tomorrow I have um, basic life support training for work. You gotta renew it every two years, so I basically have to work tomorrow from between one and five. But yesterday was a lot of fun. Uh, we watched, binge watched uh, The Handmaid's Tale on Hulu. I think it's season four that's out now, and they released the first three or four episodes. And then from starting next week, week after week, they're going to be doing um, just releasing one episode at a time. But that was the first time seeing Tara since the lockdown, and it was a lot of fun hanging out with her. We ate snacks and just hung out, and um, it was great catching up with her. So anyway, I'm going to tend to this fire here. Here's the veggies on that will be put on the grill. The skewers here. We got the uh, the skewer sticks. They were soaking in water so they don't burn on the grill. There's onion, squash, and zucchini, and uh, red peppers on these vegetable skewers for my wife. She eats the vegetables because she is vegan. I get the meat skewers. She forgot to get the tomatoes this time. She likes the tomatoes. I like tomatoes too. Um, they're pretty good, but uh, we've got these, and these will be plenty fine. I'll show you guys the meat. All right, here we got the beef out here, and these are on some metal skewers that we have, and these have been soaking in soy sauce, and they're like seasoned, salt and pepper, and uh, possibly some red pepper flakes. I think my wife uh, marinated this for me. And so basically, these look quite delicious out here chilling ready to be cooked so you basically we cook the veggies first because my wife is vegan doesn't eat meat the coals look nice and hot ready to go so we're gonna administer the veggies now So yeah, then once the vegetables are taken off the grill, uh, then you add the meat. So that way the vegetables were not touched by uh, meat. You wouldn't want to cook the vegetables after you put them on the grill because the meat grill... The grill now has meat juices and the like on it. So if you have a vegan, you want to cook the veggies first. But these are going to be delicious. Oh yeah, they're looking pretty delightful now. Uh, so here's the delicious food. Uh, we got the vegetables and the meat. Cat and uh, pink lemonade and rice over here. So no point in speculating anymore about it. We're just going to dive right in. Not to get cold and enjoy the damn thing. So that's it for that other vlog. Um, as you can see, now I'm at the beach. So when you check out the next vlog after this one, it's going to be all of me at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So thanks for watching and check me out in the next video.